I will be teaching an online course for people who want to become software engineers or who want to become better software engineers. This will not be a series of videos that you have to watch. It will be me teaching you a few hours a day, every other day or so, over a considerably long period of time. It will be a batch of students just like yourself. And I'll be teaching you over some medium like Skype or Google Hangouts or something like that. You don't have to be a programmer to join this course. It is for non-programmers who want to become programmers. I will assume you know how to use computers for a basic use like sending emails or surfing the internet but nothing beyond that. Especially I will assume you know nothing about computer programming at all. There are only two other things that you would need in order to join this course or to be eligible to join this course. One is an aptitude. That is, you would have to want to become a software engineer. So don't do it if you don't want to become a software engineer and you don't have the drive and the passion to do that. And you would also want to have the aptitude, which means you would also want to have the ability to solve problems or have a slight bend of um, a certain kind of intelligence that software developers have, which is very hard to articulate, but I will help you ascertain that online as well on my website before you take the course. So I don't want you to join the course just because you want to become a software engineer you should have a certain amount of brain power or a certain kind of brain or a certain kind of uh, predilection to be able to become a software engineer. And the second thing you should have to be able to join this course or to be eligible or to get the best out of this course is you have to have enough of free time available with you because software development is mostly about practice and I'll be teaching you things by doing them and I will be giving you classroom exercises as well as homework exercises and I will be checking all your exercises. So you need to have the time to be able to practice. If you don't have that, it will defeat the whole purpose of the course. So make sure you have at least two to three hours every day to, to give yourself in seclusion, in solitude so you can just practice. If you put in the time, if you have the interest, and you work hard, then by the end of this course, you will see yourself transform into a masterful programmer who can build something non-trivial all by themselves. And that will leave you with an option to take up a job as a software engineer and join the industry, which is what I recommend you do anyway for the next few years, for the first few years of your career, and after which you could venture out on your own or build something on your own and make an online business for yourself that generates some revenue or even make a software product uh, with humble beginnings. That's how all software products start. So whether you're waiting tables just now or working at a factory or sweeping the streets, cleaning office floors, a housemaid, a hairstylist, or you could be a pizza delivery boy, or you work at a retail store maybe, or maybe you're a mechanical engineer, or an accountant, whoever you are, if you really want to become a software engineer, I will help you. But this course is not only for people who are aspiring to be software engineers, but are not presently those. It is also for people who are software engineers, at least newly joined software engineers who've joined the industry in the last four years and are struggling with programming and wish they had a mentor who was experienced, who would teach them their way around from the ground up, from the very beginning. So if you're one of those, come join this course and I will, I will help you transform yourself into a very good programmer. If you've got the chops, if you've got the drive and the time to practice. It's also for a third kind of audience, which is people who are just out of college, whether or not you took software engineering or computer science at college, 
or you could have taken some other discipline even arts or psychology or humanities or commerce you could have taken anything if you want to become a software engineer if you i will help you determine if you've got the aptitude the certain bend of mind that i was talking about and if you do then i can help you as well for now go to my website satyaish.net scroll down to the bottom of the page and join the mailing list i will announce the course details by february or march 2020 that's what i'm targeting it could be a little later than that you will be sent an email if you join the mailing list i will be able to send you an email when i announce the course in the meanwhile i might also send you an email or two occasionally when i add something to my website or when i put up a new video on youtube 